Forbes magazine says Trump's new company is planning for its possible conviction of, for a presidential run. Trump 2024 Department of Correction. <laughs> Man, this is too funny. Trump, like the wild's closing in on you, homie. Make America great again. Yeah. We know that trick, Jack. You can't fool America with this one, homie. Donald Trump had a very bad day in the United States Supreme Court at the very same hour when he was having a very bad day in a federal appeals court, which came two hours after he had a truly desperate day in the federal district court of the single most out of control Trump judge in America. We begin with Donald Trump's big loss in the United States Supreme Court before turning to what is likely to be an even more important loss in the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals that could send Donald Trump on his way to being criminal defendant Donald Trump, accused of stealing government documents. Today, the United States Supreme Court simply refused to hear Donald Trump's final appeal of a court order requiring the Internal Revenue Service to actually follow the clearly written law that says the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee has the legal right to obtain a copy of anyone's tax returns. House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Richard Neal demanded Donald Trump's tax returns three years ago from the Internal Revenue Service and the Trump appointed Internal Revenue Service Director along with the Trump appointed Secretary of Treasury at the time refused to obey the law and hand over those tax returns for the first time in the history of that law. Chairman Neal went to court and it took, as one member of the Ways and Means Committee pointed out today, 1,329 days to get a very simple law enforced in America because Congress was asking that law be enforced against Donald Trump. A Trump appointed judge named Trevor McFadden disgraced himself forever by doing everything he possibly could to delay the case of the Trump tax returns, including not ruling on it for over a year or making any statement about it at all. Trevor McFadden just sat on the case, hoping it would go away if Republicans won. I just want to make clear that, yes, we, Judge Deary, should be issuing his, his final recommendation in the middle of next month, but of course then Parties will lodge objections before the district court. Presumably, there'll be more briefing on that, you know, perhaps an argument and a decision. And then, of course, I assume the agreed party would have a strong incentive to appeal to this court, and then we'll be right back here. But that could take many, many months. And I, I can't do better than Justice Frankfurter in Cobbledick, in which he said, you know, delay is fatal to the vindication of the criminal law. And I think that applies in spades over here. Two hours before that argument began in the federal appeals court in Atlanta today, the Trump lawyers went to their favorite judge in America, Judge Aileen Mercedes Cannon, who violated every known legal principle when she appointed a special master in the case. And the Trump lawyers asked Judge Cannon to unseal a fully unredacted version of the FBI affidavit that was used to obtain the search warrant in the case. Now, that affidavit is filled with confidential information and confidential sources who prosecutors do not want to reveal to Donald Trump at this time. If Donald Trump goes to trial as a criminal defendant in this case, he will get a full copy of that. Every ruling that Judge Cannon has made that the Justice Department has already appealed to the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals has been overruled by the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals. Tonight, the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals seems on the verge of overruling her order for a special master and removing her from the case. And so today's filing by the Trump lawyers with that out of control judge will not go unnoticed by a federal appeals court that is already worried about what she has done in this case and can only help speed up the 11th Circuit's resolve to rule on the case that it heard today with the knowledge that delay is fatal to the vindication of the crime.